Connie, thanks for coming in. You did the right thing by coming in to see me. Anytime you have an auto accident, once you've gotten medical treatment, you look at the facts of that accident and you don't feel like that accident's your fault, you always need to go and see a lawyer because you just never know what might happen. The things that are necessary to make an auto case successful and come through successfully is, first of all, you have to get the medical treatment that you need. You have to follow your doctor's advice. You have to keep your medical appointment so that you can recover from your injury in the fastest time possible because completion of your case can't really start until you're fully recovered, until we know for sure that you're not injured anymore, that you've reached what the doctors would call maximum medical improvement. You don't have some nagging injury that's going to continue to flare up. Those things have to be resolved so we can bring your case to a conclusion. And we, we know, we can estimate its value uh, once we know what your injuries were, how long you have to be off work. If you ask me right now, how much is my case worth, I would tell you that I don't really know because whatever I tell you is probably wrong because I don't know the total extent of your injuries. Only your doctor can determine that. I don't know how much time you're going to miss for. And of course, the, the pain and suffering factor and so forth. Uh, and the other things, the property damage that you had and things like that are all factors in, in consideration of what your case is worth. Some of the things we have to prove, the first thing, of course, is what happened. I mean, whose fault was this accident? Where is the negligence? And in your case, it's pretty obvious. Somebody ran into the back of your vehicle. So the cause of the accident in your case is obvious, but oftentimes it's not. It's a little more questionable than that. Uh, and you need witnesses and things like that to prove liability, which is a lawyer's word that just means what caused the accident, who's responsible. In your case, as I said, it's pretty obvious that the other party is responsible for this accident because he ran into the back of your car, and that's unlawful because you have to pay attention and you have to stop and you can't just hit people. The next question is, uh, were you injured? And the answer to that is obviously yes. You went to the hospital, you got treated, you're still getting outpatient treatment, still seeing your doctor and so forth. So we obviously, the next question is, is there enough money to pay for the damage that this other driver caused? In other words, who has the insurance? You want to know, is, is insurance really necessary? Well, no, it's not really necessary. But if you go forward with a legal case for an auto accident, you want to make sure that you have uh, a source of funds to pay for it. Uh, you don't want to bear the expense, the trouble, the aggravation of, uh, of bringing a case without any certain source of money to pay for the damage. So uh, it is important that the other side has insurance, which in this case he does. He told the police officer, uh, if you don't have insurance in Memphis now, you get a ticket. So you have an accident, the officer is going to see your insurance and he's going to write it down. So we have that from the police report that he does have insurance. Had not. You have uninsured motorist coverage, which is good. That's what it's for. It's there to cover you in case uh, you're injured by someone who does not have insurance. That's why you have to decline uninsured coverage. You have to sign something saying you don't want it. Don't ever do that, by the no, way. No, for a fact that at least 25% of the drivers in Shelby County are uninsured. So there's a, at least a 25% chance if you have an accident it's going to be with an uninsured driver. Let's face it, driving around Memphis, which has a reputation for being a high accident area and a reputation for being a lot of uh, aggressive drivers and so forth, if you drive enough in this city, which we all do, sooner or later you're going to have an accident like you did. What we're going to do is, as soon as you've finished your medical treatment, you're going to call me and let me know that. And then we're going to start ordering all your medical records. We're going to get all the records from from the ambulance, from the hospital, from the doctors that have treated you, everyone that's actually treated you, we're going to get and we're going to examine those and we'll talk about them with you. And uh, then we'll start trying to bring your case to a conclusion with the insurance company. We'll talk about that. It's your case, it's your, value, it's your uh, uh, decision as to what to do, but we'll keep you informed at every step of the way, along the way. And uh, obviously the sooner you complete your treatment, 
the sooner you're able to return to work from your injury, the sooner we can start trying to bring it to a conclusion. Does that make sense? Hi, I'm Darrell Castle. If you've been injured in an auto accident, call me or fill out the Get in Touch form at the bottom of this page. You'll be glad you did.